Hey guys, what is up? Mikey Laker Talk. Let's talk Lakers basketball. All right, I want to get my thoughts on yesterday's game and talk about people's reaction, overreaction on Twitter. Yes, I'm talking about Lakers Twitter. All right, you guys need to chill. Yes, I'm one of the founding fathers of Lakers Twitter. <laughs> you know Lakers Twitter, basically Laker fans on Twitter that overreact to everything. We're reactionary fans that react minute to minute and we're all GMs and we all want to trade everybody and we nitpick over this guy and that guy and we react and we overreact to everything Lakers related. That's Lakers Twitter. And yes, I'm one of the founding fathers of that. <laughs> I'm guilty. I'm guilty on all charges. But here's the thing. We got to chill. Sometimes I remove myself from that. Like yesterday, I missed yesterday's game. And after yesterday's game against the Pelicans, every freaking post in my feed was Rondo is trash. Rondo is this. Yes, this is proof that Rondo is horrible. This is this is that. I'm like, okay. So I go and I'm today, the next day, I watch the DVR of yesterday's game. Because I just want to catch a good, you know, I just want to, want to, I need to catch the game before I comment on it. And Lakers had a good game. Rondo had nothing to do with this game. He didn't have a good game. And, but he shouldn't have been the, the main trending focal point of that particular game. It, it's obvious when I remove myself sometimes of reacting to every everything. Lakers related, and I look on Twitter, I'm like, y'all, y'all tripping. You guys are overreacting. Twitter world, y'all, you guys are overreacting. All right, we need to chill. We have a good record. Off the New Year's break, into the New Year's, we cruise past two teams. Yes, we cruise past the Pelicans yesterday. We we're up 22 going into fourth quarter. We cruise past them. All right, we cruise past the Suns. We we're up 30 on them. We let the foot off the gas on them as well. All right. It doesn't matter if the Pelicans got back to single digits. It doesn't matter if the Suns fought back. Listen, we were crushing them. We were beating them easily, a non-playoff team easily, and we relaxed. And yes, these are NBA teams. Suns got some young studs. The Pelicans got some young studs. Alonzo was hyped, had a pep in his step, was happy to be back in LA, and he was playing well. And Brandon Ingram put up some shots. And the Pelicans got some young some young guys who 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 don't quit, and so they got it back to single digits. We put the foot, we put our foot off the gas, and that was it. But nonetheless, we beat that game easily, and we should be proud of that. We should be happy about that. Move on. What here's, here's my thing: save your overreaction stuff to like when Denver comes back in town, when we play Denver again, right? When we play a good, tough playoff team, and we're t we're, we're being tested. And we fold under pressure like when we did against the Clippers. We were up and we folded, right? That's when we can blow, start blowing stuff up and start overreacting and bring out Lakers Twitter. Against the Pelicans? Are you kidding me? Against the Suns? Are you kidding? We need, we need Collison. We need DJ Augustine. Now, I, I tweeted, you know, I like DJ Augustine, make that happen. But to be honest with you, January is still my test and we're doing just fine. This test is great. I'm going to wait till we're tested and then I'll see. When we're tested and if we fold, then I can start nitpicking. Okay, we need to change up this thing. We need to change up that thing. But, you know, we had a good game. Yesterday, AD, monster, set 46 and 13. We need to sign this dude to a lifetime deal straight up after this year. We cannot let this dude go. This dude is a beast. 26, we need to sign him for the next 10 years. Even when he's old, he'd be posting up. I think and he, when he's 37, 35, I think I think I'm gonna see we're gonna see AD posting up, you know, a little sky hook or something like that, doing one of these. Nah, but we need to sign AD for real. Um, LeBron James, 15 and or 17 and 15. Like I said two days, two videos ago, I'm gonna be okay right now with LeBron scoring, giving us 15 to 20 with like 14 assists. What do he do? 17 points, 15 assists. Like I said in my last video, you're gonna get, you're gonna, different role players will eat on different days. Yesterday was Danny Green's day to eat. He had a good meal, 25 points, had a bunch of shots falling early, five threes in the first quarter. That was Danny Green's time to shine. 
Kuzma chipped in with 10. Yes, KCP didn't shoot well. Rondo didn't score any buckets, but he didn't. Ha he, he wasn't out there shooting 20 shots and missing, you know, 90% of them. What they take four shots each or something like that. They missed the, missed some bunnies. Who cares? The the game wasn't about them. The game was about AD dominating his old team, and this was the starters game. And not every team, every player is going to play well on in every any given night. That being said, the Lakers were up on 30 on the Phoenix Suns, up on 22 on the Pelicans. And you can say, yes, Mike, but we have a habit of collapsing leads. We do. But save that for, you know, I'm going to let the coaches figure that out. Why are we giving up leads? What are we doing? What are we not doing? You know, is are we do we need more defense on off the bench? Are we not? Are, are you know, what is it? To me, I still feel, give me, give me all of January to figure this out. If we start, if we continue to do this against good teams, and we know we, we got to make some moves. We're going to have to make some moves at the end of, you know, before the All-Star break. But for right now, even though I, I shot a, Twitter, a tweet and said, hey, I like DJ Augustine, make that happen. I'm not, as a Lakers GM on Twitter and on YouTube, I'm not making any moves. All right. I repeat, as a Lakers GM on Twitter and YouTube. I'm not making any moves right now. I'm not breaking up our chemistry. All right. You let me know if you are making any moves right now. Hit me up in the comments below. But right now, I'm not making any moves. I'm not breaking up this chemistry. I like what we're doing so far in January. I like how we're playing. And I'm continuing to watch and see how this goes. Right. We bring in a DJ Augustine. We bring in a Collison or whatever. Who, who is he? Is, are, who, who, who's been already taken? Who am I? Who am I putting out there? I like Rondo. I still think he has a high IQ. And yes, he has he had maybe a few bad games. KCP hasn't had that, a, a good game in the last couple games, but KCP has been removed from the starting lineup to the bench. And he still is not a bonehead. He's not, uh, he's not hurting us. He's still playing good defense. And Alex Russo is hurt. When he comes back, we have enough guards. I don't need another guard right now. I like Aunt, uh, Alex Caruso's size, 6'5". The players love him. The chemistry love AD loves him. LeBron loves him. Our chemistry is tight with those guys. Let, let Caruso get healthy. I'm good with my guards right now. I'm good. I'm good with those. And if anything, I'm not even tripping on I like, I mean, Kuzma didn't have a great, defensive game yesterday in terms of like how I thought he played good defensively the day, game before, but I'm okay with it right now. Dwight and Kuzma, and, and maybe we might need another rebounder, another another wing defender off the bench, but I still, still give me January to figure that out. I'm still kind of like, all right, who is it? Who is that player? Who are we trading for what player and whatnot? That's my thoughts, but Lakers Twitter in general, we got to chill. As a member of Lakers Twitter, I'm saying sometimes, yeah, I got to take a break, especially when we're playing against these non-playoff teams. It ain't that serious. Anyway, hit me up in the comments below. Let me know your thoughts. Thank you for commenting, like, and subscribing. As always, follow me on Twitter and Instagram at Mike Sports LA. We got the Pistons tomorrow, another team. Let's see how we do against them, and we start ramping things up, all right? As always, follow me on Twitter and Instagram at Mike Sports LA. I'll holler at you guys. I'll catch you guys tomorrow. Have a good Saturday night. Peace.